One of the questions that I see frequently being asked online is which is better, Adobe Rush or Premiere Pro? And in this video, we're gonna talk about the difference between the two and which one is right for you. Make sure you stick around to the end to find out the additional secret weapon that I use to create videos like this one. Hi there everyone, I'm Amy from The Video Lady and today we are talking about which Adobe editing program is right for you. I created The Video Lady to help entrepreneurs just like you grow their businesses using video. And I teach you how to create, edit, and get your video marketing out to your fans. If you're just discovering my channel, consider subscribing and setting up notifications. That way, Whenever I create new content, no matter where it's posted, you'll get notified. So which is better, Premiere Pro or Adobe Rush? Well, as a wise man once said, it depends. Let's jump right in and talk about what they both do well and when you wanna use each one. Adobe Premiere is a movie grade software program. Film directors use it, commercial filmmakers use it, and it is powerful. Now, I normally use it to make my videos as well. I love the flexibility of the program and the fact that I can create professional quality. Adobe Premiere is fabulous and it has all kinds of bells and whistles, but it can actually be overwhelming if you're just trying to get started. However, here's when you should take the time to learn Premiere. First of all, if you've already got video editing experience, Adobe Premiere is going to be the most flexible tool. Second of all, if you're making movies or commercials that are gonna have special effects, then Adobe Premiere Pro has a fantastic workspace set up with tools to create huge projects where you can have multiple people working on them. Um, it, there's collaboration tools and there's also a ton of effects. It was also, made to interact seamlessly with Adobe After Effects, which is where all of the magic happens when you're talking about special effects shots. Third reason you would use this is if you need advanced editing options. If you are looking for more advanced studio and visual effects, color grading tools, advanced sound compression, keyframes, etc., Adobe Premiere is going to be the right tool for you. Fourth reason to use Adobe Premiere would be if you are filming a huge video Adobe Rush has a five gigabyte size limit on it. So if you're making something that's going to be bigger than this, then you'd want to use Premiere. Now, if you want more information on Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Rush, which we're going to talk about in just a second, make sure to check out my links in the description below. As always, if you're getting value out of this video so far, make sure you hit the like button. Adobe Premiere is the granddaddy of video editing, but Adobe Rush is a little bit more like the iMovie of the Adobe lineup, and it's perfect for YouTubers, Instagrammers, Facebookers, who just need music, some basic titles, intros, outros, callouts, and you know, the occasional thought bubble. Editing is super easy on Adobe Rush, and you can also get really great professional looking templates that you can edit to fit your brand. So here's a few advantages of Adobe Rush. Adobe Rush is per perfect for beginners and it's going to handle most of the things you need to get started without overwhelming you. It has all the basics for adding music, titles, and some basic picture effects. Plenty if you're just getting started. Adobe Rush also has the capability to upload directly to YouTube it can also upload directly to Instagram and Facebook if you so desire. And it also comes with a mobile app so you can do all of your editing on your mobile phone if that's what you wanna do. If you decide later that an Adobe Rush file is not quite advanced enough and you need more, you can also import it into Premiere for additional effects later on. Now, I promised you a secret weapon and I wanna give you extra value in this video, so I'm going to give you not one, but two extra tips that you can use to level up your video no matter which program that you decide that you are going to use. First tip, if you're interested in learning more about making videos for your business and how to plan them for success, make sure you sign up for my video production checklist and check out my video on video production for beginners. 
The links to the checklist are in the description below as well as to the video. Second of all, I get compliments on my bullet point graphic all the time. And the really big secret is that I don't actually use Adobe for these at all. So my second secret tip is that I'm using Canva Pro for all of my branded graphics and the results are spectacular. Canva helps me take my graphics to a whole other level. If you wanna check it out, you can watch my Canva review video. The card is here or the link is in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions about things we talked about here, make sure you post your questions in the comments below and we will answer them on a future episode of Ask the Video Lady. If you need more tips and assistance, make sure you check out my website at www.thevideolady.expert. You'll find the link in the description below. And if you like this video, like it, share it, tell other people about it. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time.